This is John from GIS Priority, and uh, today I want to show you how to go over joins in ESRI's ArcMap. Um, basically, the two types of joins we're going to do is a tabular join and a spatial join. Um, so for the tabular join, the example I have is this Excel sheet of some census uh, population uh, data by zip code in New York State. And it's just in an Excel sheet here with uh, four columns. Uh, the main one being the population column and then this uh, geo ID 2 which is going to be my join field So I've already added uh, some data to ArcMap. I have a base map imagery uh, my zip codes of just uh, Manhattan and uh, Some daycare centers, which I'll use later and I have the Excel sheet right here if we can get it to open here There we go um so I can show you it's, this, it's the exact same uh, data that we saw in Excel. All right, so the first step I wanna do is right click on the uh, layer that I want to join my uh, table attributes to. So basically my goal for this is to take the population data for each zip code in Manhattan and join it to the actual uh, boundary shape file uh, of each zip code. So I want to go into, well first let me show you the uh, attribute table. Um, it just basically has two fields, um, one the zip code field and another one which I created called join just to distinguish that's the field I'm going to join to. Uh, all right, um, there's a couple little tricks to joins that you should know. So let me first go over those. So the fields that you are going to join to they have to be similar fields. So my geo ID two field that I'm going to join to from the Excel sheet is a numeric field. It's a double. And you want to have the same formats in the uh, shape file or file that you're using to join to. So the field that I'm going to join to, as you can see, I have all these other fields, but join is my main field and I have it as a numeric um, double. The reason I made this field is because the original uh, field in my shapefile was actually a text field and it wouldn't have worked correctly. So I have a double now. All right. So the first step is right click on your uh, shapefile or file that you want to join to. You want to go to joins and relates and go to joins. And from here, it's going to give you a drop down with uh, two types of joins. Uh, attribute table join and a spatial join. We're going to do the first one, which is just a table join. And the first step is to choose the field that you're going to join on from this shape file. So it's going to be my join field. And then it's going to allow you to choose the layer um, that you want to join onto. So if I had uh, information in daycare centers, I could join to that. But since we know it's my Excel sheet, I'm going to click on that one. And from here, and you can also browse to another table, um, not in your actual uh, table of contents in the ArcMap uh, project, but we're focused on that one for now. So anyway, the third step is going to be to choose the field in the table that you're going to join to. So it has to be the same field, so it's that GeoID2 field that we looked at. And then you have some join options, which basically as you can tell right off the bat is keep all the records in the um, shapefile that I'm using. So the shapefile is going to keep all the Manhattan zip codes that I have, or you could tell it to just match the records that join. So say my table only had five zip codes in it that I'm joining to, it would only then join say five zip codes that were in the Excel sheet um, versus just keeping every record and if only five joined, I would have some null values for population, but at least the five would have. Um, but for this, I'm going to keep every record um, since I know to have population figures. Um, the last step is you can validate the join. It'll give you any kind of errors and warnings. Um, you can see I have one warning, and it's basically a warning telling me that the word join is a reserved uh, name in the program and that I probably shouldn't use that as a field name, but it's okay um, for this example. And it also shows you how many fields or uh, how many records in those fields actually matched. So 69 of them actually matched. Uh, no errors, so we can hit close. And you just want to hit OK. And now I'm going to open up the table again. And as you can see, here are my two original fields. 
and here's all my joined fields from the Excel sheet. Um, the key here is any fields you have turned on will become part of the join. So if I only had um, two of them turned on and you would have only seen two, but for this example, I left everything on. Um, so here's the main field that I'm really focused on is the total population, which is great. It looks like I have pretty much everything. I have no null values. If there are errors, you'll see nulls on all the joins. Um, or if there's no matches for one singular record, you'll just see nulls across um, those joined records. Um, I'm going to have another video that goes over common errors and problems with joins. There's quite a few. ArcMap is pretty quirky with its specifics on joins. But basically what we did now is now we have our zip code information with its total population figures attached to it. So now I can identify any zip code in Manhattan and find out the 2010 census population. Um, and that's great. So if I want to do a nice quantities map here and I can pick my total population, just do a quick range and boom. Now the darker area is the more populated areas, populated zip codes of Manhattan. And it's really simple and really easy to do tabular joins. As long as your data fields match, that's kind of the key focus you want to make sure of. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a spatial join. I'm going to show you how to do that. And for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my daycare centers. I have all the daycare centers in Manhattan. And I want to be able to tell myself where all these uh, daycare centers are, what zip codes they're actually located in. So I have the names of them, but I don't know where they're located. Now, since I'm not doing a tabular join, it doesn't really matter what kind of data I have in the, um, the file that I'm joining. So it, it, it won't really matter. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do the same steps. You're going to right click, you're going to go to join. And for this example, I'm going to say spatial location. And what it tells you right in the first step here is uh, choose the layer that you want to join to this. Um, so you can pick anything. Um, obviously, I only have uh, one layer in here. It's my zip codes. So that's the one. But you can also browse to another file if you wanted. Um, and then it gives you two options for a polygons to point, which is what we're doing here. You can also do um, joins with polygons, polylines. It doesn't have to be just points for spatial joins. Uh, but this is just the easiest example. And it kind of gives you the idea and the feel for the uh, spatial join tool. Um, so the two options in step two are um, join any feature that falls within inside of that polygon, the zip codes polygon, any points that fall in there, or the closest to, and you can um, set distances. So I'm just going to pick um, any daycare centers that fall in the polygon, and then what it will do, it, it will um, export or uh, output a actual uh, file. So I'm just going to leave it called um, join output, but you can name it whatever you want and put it wherever you want. Um, spatial joins are usually pretty quick depending on how much data you have. And as you see, it added my layer right here. So now I'm going to turn off the original one. And let's just turn off. Now leave zip codes on. Um, and now if we open up the new table that we just created, the new shapefile, um, the table in the shapefile, the attribute table, now has all those joined features, which is really cool because I forgot to turn off the other join. So I got everything. So just like the tabular join, any fields that were turned on in the secondary layer that we were joining to, um, we got. So now I have the names of the facilities. I have the zip codes that they're actually located in. As you can see, there's different ones. Um, and then because we already had population in, you can see we have the populations of each zip code too, which is kind of neat. I didn't, uh, I didn't even think about that. That's kind of cool. So I can associate each facility, each daycare facility, in Manhattan with their zip code and tell people the population of the zip code that the daycare center is uh, is located in. So those are just quick, easy examples of how to do a tabular join and a spatial join. Um, please check out my other video on join errors and problems because you'll probably run into a lot when you work with joins. Um, it's pretty common to have issues and trouble with them. Um, it happens all the time and there's a lot of quirky errors. So I hope this helped you learn a little bit about joins in ArcMap.